You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's The Voice After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's The Voice After Show. With over 27 million downloads each week, this is your place to be for all your post-show recaps, analysis, and interviews. This is AfterBuzz TV. I'm Christian Rosenberg with a very special edition of The Voice After Buzz. Joining us on the phone right now is a gentleman who made our jaws drop from having the fastest four-chair turn in voice history, and a jaw continued to drop for each performance, and then our jaw actually dropped out of shock that unfortunately he was sent home this week, but we are absolutely delighted. Delighted. He's taking the time while sitting in the JFK airport to join us. Matthew Schuler <laughs> is here with us on AfterBuzz TV. Matt, how are you? I'm doing very well, Christian. Thanks for having me, man. Oh, <laughs> thank, thanks for taking the time in between other like shows and flights, and because you're just being sent all <laughs> around the world right now, and rightfully so. Um, let me ask you, because you've been on this complete whirlwind over the last 48 hours. Has it has it sunk in yet that you're, that unfortunately next week you're not going to be on The Voice. Well, obviously see you on the finale, but has it really sunk in yet? I can't say that it has, man. Mm -hmm. um, it's crazy. Like I've had such an amazing experience being on this TV show. Like it's the number one TV show in America. Like it's it's crazy. But um, I'm really excited for the future, though, bro. Like you know, today I you know I got a taste of, of what it's gonna be like. You know, when I when I'm Hopefully in the music industry, you know, I'm, I'm already talking to people about management and stuff, and, you know, just, I'm really excited to, you know, hopefully shop some stuff to, to labels, but it's cool doing PR stuff, I was on today show this morning, and, you know, talking to NTD News, like, it, it's been wild, you know, and I'm, I'm so blessed, you know, I'm really excited to, to keep moving forward. That's great, you know, I was, I was really curious when, you know, like, at, at 10 o'clock when The Voice ended on Tuesday. I was curious how many people by 1001 called you offering you record contracts because because <laughs> I figured your phone was off the hook the second the show went off the air. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, a lot of people have just been showing me love, man. It's it's definitely it's it's a privilege. Like I'm so I'm such a blessed kid, dude. I can't even explain it. Well, well, yeah. I mean, let me let me name off some uh, some musicians for you. Um, you've you've probably heard of these guys, and they all have something in common. Eminem, One Republic, Imagine Dragons, Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus. All these people were busy looking up at you on the iTunes charts. Uh, because, <laughs> because, hallelujah, I checked as of like three hours ago, it's still in the top 40. You hit wow. number one. I mean... This is this isn't like a big single from a debut album. You performed on The Voice, and it's just absolutely exploded. You brought a whole new, whole new life to that song. I mean, everyone's been asking you about it, but I'm just kind of curious. Do you feel that that was your best song? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I. I... I'm still baffled myself by the response. Like I, I can't believe like that that it hit number one, and that it's, just, it's still on the charts now, like three weeks later. It's, it's ridiculous, you know. Especially for like like a like a TV reality show, you know, uh, song. Like it's it's an honor, you know. I'm I'm so blessed by the response, but I don't know. I I I don't even think it was. To be honest, I don't think it was my best performance. But I'm 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 honored <laughs> at, at 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 the um the response. <laughs> What, what would you what would you think was your best if you didn't think that was? Bro, I don't know. I think I might I I might even have to go with my first one. Cough share was so much fun, but I don't. Cosmic Love was awesome too. I, I, it's the time between those two. Okay. Yeah. Um, I remember watching it with uh, you know like Jason, who you've met on the red carpet for After Us for the Voice. We yeah. watched it in the screening room, and as soon as we found out you're going to sing Cosmic Love, we're all just like. 
is he going to be able to do this one? And then you do it, and we're just like, what can this guy not do? <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's been such an honor. Like, I mean, that song, it, it's a huge song, and it was, it was a little intimidating, but, I mean, I i just i have a heart for any music you know that that's the type of stuff that i want to put out you know that the, the music that that tells stories and the story telling stuff and i mean uh it's it, it was an honor and it's a beautiful song and to put my own spin on it was it was just so much fun because i love florence Welch. she's a beast like no one is like her it's crazy that's awesome um let me let me talk a little, ask you a little bit about uh your coach miss christina aguilera um yeah yeah now, like I said, you had like the fastest four chair turn in history. Do you did you ever second guess your choice of a coach? I definitely don't. And okay. I think uh, it was the best it was the best decision that I could have made with Chief Christina as my coach. Like she's she's so loving and nurturing, dude. She cares. She tested me. She pushed me so hard this season. You know. And, like so I've, I've done like every single genre under the sun, like from, like you know indie stuff, the pop stuff, the, the classic stuff, the, the soul. Like oh, it, it, it's been it's been wild, you know. And she's uh, she's definitely helped me to uh, become a versatile artist, you know. And and always keep people on their toes, always like waiting, like what are you gonna do next, you know? Like it's it's really cool, like keeping that that you know interest interest up that you know people can't can't predict you predict what you're going to do like i think it's in this industry it's very important to be unpredictable and uh and christina you know she's just she taught me how to how to roll you know with uh with the punches like no matter what she's she's thrown at me you know it's, it's been fun and it's been a, and a challenge that has made me into a better artist i think awesome. was there any like specific tips or any advice like one thing that really stood out that she told you that you think maybe other aspiring musicians would want to hear from someone like Christina? I don't know. I feel like this might seem a little cliche, but it, it just hit home for me. It was just, mm -hmm. I mean, always be true to yourself, you know? It's, yeah. It's like you hear it all the time, but as an artist, that's the most important thing. Like, you're, you're never trying to be something that you're not, you know? And um, Christina, she, she always, you know, encouraged me to truly sing, you know, from a true and sincere place. And, um, you know, I really appreciate that from her. Because, I mean, it was difficult because I was doing so many different types of songs. You know, I, I had to really, you know, dig deep and, and search myself, you know, for something that I could hold on to, something that, you know, I could sing the song from from my perspective, you know, for it to be, for me to believe in it, you know, because, like, before anyone else is going to believe in, in, in the song I'm singing, I have to believe in it. So she's, she's been great and just teaching me that stuff. Uh, your 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 fellow uh, team Christina member Jackie, you know she she Jack, Jack. She, Jackie she's moved on to the <laughs> the final dude Chris I mean between you and Jackie and like powerhouse is an understatement but <laughs> uh, like what do you think her chances are now that we're down to five people do you think that Jackie could pull this off and and win the Voice? Dude, her chances are so promising. It's crazy. I mean, like the talent on this show this season has been ridiculous. Like, oh, absolutely. The the, 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 people, the people she's going against, like Tessan, Will, James, and, and and Cole, like they're not easy competitors. But I feel like Jackie's got the chops to do it, man. Like if, if anyone, I feel like she's the one who could come out on top. Like she, like she came in. She's a dark horse, bro. Like her, her blind audition, everything. She was underrated until this point. She's just blown up, and she's just on this amazing incline. That, that, and she's never going to decline. Like she's, she's got so much in there. I don't know how she does what she does, but I'm a super proud big brother. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely rooting for her. You know, to take this thing home. Absolutely. Who, out of curiosity, like when you're hanging around with the other other contestants in the back, uh, backstage, who do you feel what is the most confident? Like they're about to go on stage and they're like, you know what? This is nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush it. Was it you, or do you think it was yeah. someone else? <laughs> Um, well, I mean, every, all of them have, have a layer, have a definitely a, a great level of confidence you know, in their art and their stuff. But I don't think anyone has, has really been like that. Like, yo, I'm going to kill tonight. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. Like, you know, I, I think we've all, you know, kind of just, I mean, we, we've kind of just lived in that moment. Like, it, it, it's kind of nerve-wracking, you know, like going, going before that. Like, we're singing in front of millions of people every Monday night, you know, and Tuesday night. So it's like, I think we're all like kind of getting in the zone and, and, and in our own head, but no one's really outwardly like, yeah, man, I'm the best. 
smoke chill tonight. Mm-hmm. Everyone's gonna blow up with me. <laughs> Seriously, it's 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 up in the air. Like you don't you don't know what's gonna happen. Right. Uh, and every, everyone's super humble and just down to earth, you know, on the show. So yeah, it's 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 been really cool getting to know them. Uh, let me let me ask you this because you know we we've we've learned you know a little bit about you you know while on your time of the show we we know that you and your family you're all you know uh, pe- people of very strong faith and you've always win lose or draw you're always just so positive about everything and I was wondering you know like what type of advice would you give maybe fans of yours or fans of the voice that. You know, whether it's an audition and they fell up short and they're upset or they didn't get the job they wanted and like they just, you know, they they don't feel like the positivity that you always seem to have win, lose or draw. Like what what kind of tips or what advice would you give to them, you know, to have them keep pushing and keep going? Bro, I'm so mad because. You're kind of breaking up right now, and this is like uh. the best question ever. And I don't <laughs> want to. I don't. I really hope the signal comes out. I'm, he- hear I'm hearing you clear right now. I'm hearing you good right now. <laughs> All right. I'm, still, I'm still standing where you where you told me to not to move. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I. Well, dude, for me, I'm I'm a Christian. You yeah. know, like everything comes down to, to my relationship with, with Jesus Christ. Is like no lie. And a lot of prayer and a lot of a lot of reading, you know, has, has went into everything that I've done. And I feel like he's he's the thing that that has you know kept me kept me grounded and kept me positive. Cause, I mean, I know that I'm not doing this for myself. You know, I'm doing it for him and his glory, and I'm doing it to to love on people. I'm doing it to encourage people. Like I feel like when when you take the focus off of yourself, that's that's when you know, you can be positive, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, if I encourage one person, like, no matter what is happening, like, I, like, you know, I got kicked off the show, but, you know, if I encourage one person, you know, through my time there, then, you know, it was worth it, you know? I, I feel like, you know, art, you know, your job, any, anything that we do our entire lives, like, I don't know, living a life of sacrifice, you know, not really making it about us all the time, you know, thinking about others is... Is the way to go, and you know that's that's my inspiration. That's why you know I can I can feel positive. And why I can you know feel you know like I've like I've done something right. Awesome. Uh, well, let let me let me ask you let me ask you this. I know we know we're going to see you again at the finale. So af- yeah. after that, do you have any type of tours already in the works? I mean, are you thinking of like traveling from place to place performing yet? Do you have any of that any of that set yet? Because um, if you do, I'm sure they're probably almost, if not already, sold out. <laughs> Chris, that, that means a lot. Man. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't know about tours just yet. But uh-huh. I definitely have some music in the works. I've been writing so much, man. I'm, I'm so excited to share with the world. I'm, I got a few people that that are representing me already, like the management wise, and, and we're gonna shop around some demos to labels, and we're gonna we're gonna get going. Hopefully, you know, I have some music out very very soon. Will Christina be on your album? Bro, I don't know, man. If she wants to, I man, I'm all for it. <laughs> Dude, I think she should be asking you to be on her album. <laughs> I would love that. It, it would definitely be an honor. Uh, and and as as the show is going on, you you had your 21st birthday, so yes, I did. So I I I do I do have to ask you, I. I I I don't know how how much of this you're you're into, but when I would like to, you know the 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 show as a winding down and the holidays and all that, when are you hitting up Vegas? To uh, <laughs> when are you hitting up Vegas. It, it's so crazy. I mean, I've like I've heard that if you go to Vegas like before you're 21, like there's nothing to do. There's like, absolutely n- nothing. I went. <laughs> I went on a family trip when I was 14, and I had the most miserable time. I just sat in the arcade the whole time and, like, ran out of money in a half hour because <laughs> I can't I'm, I'm, win I'm so money sorry. in arcades. But, um, but yeah, so, like, when, when are you going to Vegas now? I mean, it's, you know, you got to do a little bit of celebrating, right? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited to celebrate. I think uh, – I don't know. I've I've never been to Vegas. I definitely like to go and, and see what all the all the hype is about. You know, but um. Well, you yeah, let, you like, let me know when you plan. Like, you let me know when you plan on it, and I will I will drive out there. It's only a four hour <laughs> drive for me because Vegas hey. is my second home, and I will be happy to bring you around. <laughs> hey, Christian, that that sounds like fun to me, man. <laughs> cool. That dude, that that'd be so awesome. So, like I said, you're at the JFK Airport right now. You just I appeared am. on the Today Show this morning. <laughs> Where are you? Was, yeah. Where are you going now? Like, where, what's next? 
Well, I'm actually going home. I'm, I'm going to going to kiss my mom. I actually just tweeted that like, like a few minutes ago. Like I'm in about like two hours. I'll be back in Philadelphia. Touchdown back back home. You know, I'm going to spend some time with my family and love on them. And then I'll be on another flight probably in like a week and a half, getting ready to go and go and practice for the finale. For sure. But but you you're getting you're getting that chance to just fly home, see your mom, and and kind of exhale a little bit, and just look. seriously, <laughs> Wait, waiting to exhale. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Matthew, I got I got to tell you, man, this is this has been absolutely out, outstanding. And I mean, I'm you know I follow you on on Twitter with the seventy hey. plus thousand others. That are already following you on Twitter. I mean, I just broke 1,000. I am like oh, so bro. far behind you, it's not even funny. <laughs> Dude, this show has done so much for me. Like, I'm, I'm so blessed. Like, literally, I had 200 before the before the airing of the first episode. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's all due to, due to the voice and the exposure they've given me. It's, yeah, it's dude, amazing. Man. It, it was funny. I actually was talking with uh, Ray Boudreaux yesterday. And uh, yeah, man. And and Ray was kind of telling me the same thing. He's like, he's like, dude, before the show started, I only had 300 followers. So apparently, all I need to do is learn how to sing and get on the voice, <laughs> and then I'd be and I'll be set. Dude, go for it, you know, I encourage <laughs> you. Go for it. It's, I mean, seriously, I went to the open call. You know, like with 10,000 other people. It's, it's really, you know, I'm. I don't you know how I got here. Like, I'm. I'm, I'm just really, really blessed. Well, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to convince my my little sister who's a singer to do that. I play I play drums and percussion. So if you ever need if you hey. ever need you know someone to back you up with djembe or cajon, just let me know. And, hey, that's what's up, kid. Uh, all right, so Matt, I I know you're getting ready to hop a flight and you're and you're getting focused because you want to see your mom and and I can completely understand that. But um, do you have any any other extra things that you want to? plug before you know we let you go here besides your twitter which is uh, at m schuler music uh yeah i, I, I guess um my twitter my instagram it, it's kind of hard to find actually is uh at s it's, at, it's my last name but it's like you know like all my friends they're usually like schuler you know like that so i spelled it like that <laughs> it's like s-c-h and then four U's. It's like S E A U U U U L E R. So if you want, if you want are to you in a fraternity? Picture, what I mean, what the hell is Schuler? <laughs> <laughs> like that's yeah, something I mean, that's something people say before they do keg stands. So <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, so try to check him out on Instagram at Schuler, and and of course you can you can follow Matt on Twitter at M Schuler Music. Matthew, thank you so much for taking the time thank at the you, airport to you, talk man. with us. Have a have a great holiday. We'll see you on the finale, and hopefully, you, hopefully you'll be back out here in LA soon, and you can come in the studio and talk with us live in person. Hey, that would be awesome. I'm I'm all about that. All right, Matthew, thank you so much again. You can follow Matt on Twitter at M. Schuler Music, and you can follow me on Twitter at C. Rosie VOC. And for all of your AfterBuzz news, you can follow them on Twitter at AfterBuzz TV. Once again, Matthew Schuler, thank you so much for taking the time. I'm Christian Rosenberg, and we will see you next time here at AfterBuzz. The views expressed here are those of the host only. Thank you, Matthew. That was outstanding. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.